I'm actually happy, really happy for Ethan Brown and team. They, they've put together a tremendous product. They have a great company. Um, like you said, it's really just a valuation call. Still love the story. I just had two Beyond sausages for lunch, so I'm still a big fan of the product myself. Um, just a stock at 168 is a lot different than a stock at 100. I guess, but that was always the question. Even when you initiated at 100, people were saying you're nuts. I mean, the price to sales ratio is just ridiculous when you compare it to any other food stock. So. Why now is it too expensive when it wasn't then? You know, we want to stay disciplined with our discounted cash flow analysis, right? Our DCF said 120, 121-ish today is, is roughly the right number to use. I still believe that. The stock, when we were looking at this last week, was at 97, 98. Now it went to 168. Very simple call for us. Are there other ways to play this theme? You're, you're very bullish, like the clip we, we just watched when you uh, joined our colleagues on Power Lunch, about the overall space as a whole. Are there other ways to play that that haven't appreciated as much as Beyond has? You know, there are very different ways to play it. There used to be a lot more, though. We used to have Annie's as a public company. We used to have White Wave. Um, you could still play Haynes Celestial if you'd like. That's not quite a pure play anymore. It might be eventually when they do some dis, uh, when they divest some operations. But right now, I think this is the purest way to play this. And what about the likes of Tyson Foods that used to have a stake that sold out because they're going to see their own They're getting into this business. Way. Yeah, that's what I mean. Are, are those companies going to see their share price react in a meaningful way? Or much like uh, David Solomon complaining that his stock doesn't get value for Marcus, is it irrelevant to their share price because it's going to be such a small part of the, of the total? I don't, I don't think it necessarily is relevant in terms of the fundamentals, in terms of sentiment for the stocks. That could be something very different. We could easily see stocks like Tyson rise on the, the fact that they're starting to sell more of their version of the Beyond Burger, even if it's meaningless to the company on a fundamental basis. What about all the short sellers in this name? Is that a good call right now? Good play? I think it's a little risky. I mean, obviously, they've made some money today. Anyone who shorted the stock yesterday is, is doing pretty well today. I do believe that the company still will have better earnings than what the street expects. I think it's very difficult to short a stock like that and make a lot of money in the long run. Grasso, uh, for a cult stock, uh, once it's had its first big pullback, is that, right. is that is the writing on the wall? Is it over? It, no, I don't think it's necessarily over. So to, to Ken's point, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of players in the space, but there's not a lot of pure players in the space. So when you look at a, a company like Tyson, Tyson has an infrastructure already set up. Tyson has a lot of levers to pull in this space. So it, it depends on what the next three to six months look like with the competition and, and how steeped and experienced those uh, competitive competitors are. Let's remember, though, Beyond never turned a profit. So this is something where I think people already put on their sunglasses and said, we're not worried about that. Usually we have tech stocks that don't turn profits that people get worried about. Now we have something that is, to your point, a cult sector. So this is going to be, I have no doubt, this is going to be a tremendous part of nutrition. This is going to be a tremendous part of the food industry. But the problem is once we do a deeper dive, there's a lot of preservatives, there's a lot of salt in here. I'm waiting for those arguments that beef is actually more healthy then something like this to start raising their head. So I would play it with a diversified play, more of a Tyson versus a direct play. I mean, I guess, Ken, as we watch this stock, did it prove anything when it, when it released earnings and had a positive reception I, on Wall Street? I think it did, Sarah. I think they had such a great, I shouldn't say great quarter, a good quarter, very impressive guidance. The tone was very strong with Ethan saying that they are going to be, or they are very conservative with their numbers. I think they illustrated that they have their act together, that they know what they're doing, and that they can provide conservative guidance such that people can still buy it and feel good that numbers will still get higher.